Hi, Coach Lori Miggins here, two-star diamond coach, three-star qualifying. I have a few other coaches turning diamond this week. Very exciting things going on in my business center. I have been a coach for a little over 15 months, and I was asked to make this call to talk about some of the reasons why I have been so successful in such a short period of time. So I'm just going to share with you a few of the things that I do that I feel have allowed me to be successful. Um, first of all, I am extremely resilient. I had a lot of things go on in my life over the past year, and I don't stop. I don't allow those things to hinder me from moving on. I think that no matter what's going on in your life, you need to decide if you want to do this or not. So right now, take all of your excuses that are saying you can't and turn them into reasons why you can. You can find time during the day. You found time to get your workout in. You found time to show up to that workout. You can find time to show up to coaching. So whether it's 30 minutes a day, an hour a day, three hours a day, you need to make sacrifices. You need to get rid of those excuses and turn them into I cans. So one of the first reasons why I feel I have been so successful is that I constantly am doing the three vital behaviors. You hear it from all the top coaches. You hear it on every single national wake-up call. The three vital behaviors are key. You have to be the product. You have to do a program. You have to drink your shake every day. You have to share about it. The second is, is inviting and sharing. You have to invite people. You have to share your passion. You have to share what's going on in your challenge groups. You have to let everybody know why you're so happy, why you feel so great, why you're doing this. And people will naturally just flock to you and naturally want to do what you're doing if you're sharing from your heart. And of course, the last vital behavior and probably the most important is personal development. And it took me a long time to get on the personal development bandwagon. I didn't think I needed it. And everyone needs it, coaches or not. Get, reach out to your upline and find out what are some good personal development books. My favorite is definitely The Compound Effect. Second favorite, You Are a Badass. I'm reading Confidence Code right now. There's lots of leadership books. But find out, make a list, challenge yourself to read 10 minutes a day, and you will be so happy that you did. Now, the next thing I want to tell you about is training your new coaches. When you do get your new coaches to join you on this journey, you have to start them out right. And that's something that I think I struggled with in the beginning because I didn't really have an onboard process myself. So everything that I was doing, I had to kind of figure out myself. I didn't have a really big team. You might be on a really big team with lots of great resources. Take advantage of them. You may be on a little tiny team, maybe just you and your coach and you're just starting out. That's fine too. What's so great is that we all have the Coach Online office and all of these wonderful pieces, tools, pieces of resources that are there for us to use. That's what we pay our $15 a month for. So dive into that Coach Online office and see what's there. And while you're going through it all, create something for your new coaches. So create systems that you can put into place. For example, I have a self-paced training group. So when I get a new coach at the beginning of the month and I get a new coach in the middle of the month, it doesn't matter. They can go through the coach basics training no matter where they're at. They don't have to wait for another group to start. I also have coach calls. Every Wednesday night, I designate a half an hour. So it's 30 minutes of my time. And I open this up to my whole entire team. So the first Wednesday night I do for all brand new coaches. The second Wednesday night of the month I do for Emerald coaches. And the third Wednesday of the night I do for my Diamond coaches. So it's basically a 30 minute live Q&A. Anything you wanna talk about, you come on the call and it's like just chatting with me live about anything and everything. And the fourth Wednesday of the month, I leave open for coach opportunity calls or any other type of calls. For example, I have two new coaches that want to get their coaches started right. So I'm doing a coaching started right call with them and their teams. So those are just some ways that you can really offer support to your coaches. The next place that needs some attention is, of course, the challenge group. That's the group that we fell in love with ourselves. 
That's the group. That's the reason why most of us are here right now. Most of us were in a challenge group and that's where we felt loved, supported. We felt like we were held accountable. We felt like that was something that we wanted forever. So you need to make sure that you're creating that same environment that you had when you were a challenger for your challengers. Because let's face it, successful challengers will become successful coaches. So if you treat your challengers the way you were treated in your challenge group, chances are they're going to want to be on your team and become a coach. So make sure that they are receiving the same type of support that you had. So really focus on those challenge groups because that is where you can really build your team. Let's talk about our team a little bit more. Once we have a small team, that's starting to form, you need to have something for them. You need to have a place for them, whether it's a Facebook page or a website or both. You have to have support systems set in place for your team and you have to recognize them for all their awesome work. So especially this month, it's Team Cup Month. You wanna make sure that you're recognizing them. You wanna make sure that you are doing some sort of leaderboard or shout out or top coach of the week, but something so that you are allowing your coaches to feel supported and feel like what they're doing deserves attention. It's positive reinforcement. We all love it. We all love a pat on the back, whether it's on your public page or their public page or simply just a message in there in their Facebook Messenger, let them hear your voice. Hey, you're doing an awesome job. You were the top producer of the week. Whatever it is, you have to show recognition. Put yourself in their place. What would make you strive to do more and do it? And another thing that I recommend to all of my coaches is to get a success partner. Success partners are really important in this business opportunity to drive your business forward. Success partners are people that you're going to partner up with. One coach, whether it's on your team or on a different team in Beachbody, but it's somebody that you have similar goals with and you can push each other to reach those goals. You can meet once a week, you can brainstorm ideas, share different things with each other and learn from each other and try different things and maybe even run a free group together. Whatever it is, you need that person besides your coach to help you and push you along this journey and also to have fun with. Um, so I hope those tips will help you to push your business forward and stay positive and keep going because each and every one of you can do this. You may not think you can, but you definitely can. This opportunity wasn't made for one type of person. This opportunity was made for everyone and you have it and you just have to run with it. I'm gonna leave you with a few action items. I'm gonna challenge you to aim to get two to three new people to join you by the end of this month. So two to three new challengers, that's two to three challenge packs sold by the end of the month. And some ways that you can do that is by running a free group. So run a free group next Monday. Think of a free group to run, whether it's a fitness challenge or a clean eating group. Start to establish relationships with people so that they can get to know you for you and run a free group. And then at the end of the group, dangle the bait. Say, hey, I'm gonna continue on with a challenge group if anyone wants to join me after this clean eating group is done. And chances are you'll get those two to three people. So I challenge you to do that. And then also something else to challenge you from that challenge group or the challenge group that you're running right now is to aim to get one new person to join your team. So reach out in that challenge group, see who could be coach material, who's doing really great in that challenge group, pat them on the back, tell them, hey, you're really doing a great job in this challenge group. You sound like a coach. Have you ever thought about it? You're doing it anyway. You're enjoying this challenge group. That's all I do is I help people and you're helping me. So why not give it a try? So I challenge you to do that. Run a free group, reach out in your current challenge group and see if you can find someone that can join you on your team. Good luck.